Welcome to this episode of Cooking with Coach Rob. It's March 29, 2020. As we look at, at an old picture of me when I worked at the Bay, I worked at the Hudson's Bay in Victoria from May 1st, um, 1990 until May 31st, 2019 when I shut it down. And as you may have guessed already, today we're going to make a grilled cheese sandwich. And you can see in the in the picture here how we used to make them in the Bay. On the right-hand side were the hamburger buns we would make them on the flat top there. And so that's what we're going to make today. So we hope you enjoy this video. Okay, as I mentioned in the intro, we are going to make a grilled cheese today on the um, on the frying pan. And I thought I'd go over the ingredients before I show you how we'll put it together. In this case, we are going to add some ham. So, of course, we got our bread out here. And in this case, we're using um, the wheat bread we got at the warehouse store. And we're gonna we got some ham here and some cheese. That's the ham we're using. It's it's budding ham. That that's that dollar ham again. And we got our cracker about medium, medium, and we got our bread out in here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna heat up the pan. We're gonna turn the pan on to get it warm. So welcome back. So hey, how's everyone get getting through this um this fiber thing this this um yeah it's it's been an, uh, an unusual time in our lives okay so what we're going to do now is just we're going to get the butter here and this this is um um i find this is the best thing to use you can use tonight but i prefer this better same kind we had at the bay and what we do is, is we put obviously we're gonna we're gonna put it on the bread right and try to get it to the corner so there's one customer's always one of the customers it came into the base, she always reminded me, Rob, you gotta put it to the corner, it's like, but, but, but I did, like, she was just kidding around. And, yeah, we're, we're getting this, it's very important to heat the pan up beforehand, eh? Because um, if you don't, it will just take longer. Now, as you saw in the picture from when I worked at the restaurant in the downtown bay, there was lots of room on that flat top. But obviously in our setup here, we don't have as much room. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the camera and show you how when it's in. Thanks. Okay, we're about ready to, to put it on now on the um, thing there. Um, thinking back to the Bay days, um, when that picture was taken, that was my good friend Kyle took that picture. He's one of the coaches for the Stretch Olympics. And he would often come in at least once a week for lunch. And that was one of his favorite items to get was the grilled cheese. So thanks Kyle for taking that picture. I sure hope we get our Special Olympic sports going up soon, but with all this virus going around, it doesn't look good. So as you can see, I've got it on two separate sides because this will help it um, melt quicker. Then we're gonna put our ham. We got, <clears throat> we got four pieces of the ham. And what I like to do is I like to heat the ham up first before we put it in the um in the actual sandwich that way it's it's not you don't get a cold bite of something there's nothing worse than having a nice hot sandwich but then you get a cold bite of um, ham so so this is all you have to do here so as you can see it's it's coming along good So what we're going to do is just we'll check back in a, in a minute or so, see how it's going. Thanks. Welcome back. So it's, as you can see, the cheese looks like it's pretty mounted. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to join the two halves together. Like that, right? And I, I think we're about good to go. So the next scene, we're going to have it on the, on, on the cutting board and on the plate. Now please like and subscribe if you like these cooking videos. And also check out my other playlist of the thrift store hunters and 
what's in the bag. Because I enjoy making these videos for you. Um, so yeah, oh, that looks really good, eh? Okay. As you can see, it's already teed. And this one thing about the knife on the side, it's kind of unique. We've had that in the family since the early 70s. I think my mom and dad got that at a Super Valley in North Vancouver when they purchased a loaf of Wonder Bread or something. Anyway, I'm going to have my lunch. Then I'll be back in the studio to give a wrap up after. Thanks. Hello, hello. Uh, I know I said I'd do the wrap up in the studio of uh, of the grilled cheese sandwich. I'll tell you, oh, just so quickly here without the mic. Now, when we did the mic in the other episode, um, people said they couldn't hear it, but others said they could hear it. So I don't know. I tried it on four different systems. I could hear it fine. But, but, but anyway, getting back to the sandwich. Yeah, it was pretty good, and I always have, like, the dill pickles on the side. When I was a kid, my mom and dad would always make the grilled cheese sandwiches. Sometimes, like, late at night when you're watching a Saturday night movie, um, we would have a grilled cheese as a snack with the dill pickles. Um, I just want to say, hope everyone gets through this virus. I know, I know Krabby here is doing okay, and the other stuff is I have are doing good. Um, so, yeah, so... So let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments about the video. Please like and subscribe and share this video with other friends. And uh, until next time, everyone stay strong. We will get through this virus, and, and have a good have a good day. Thank you.